Hi guys, I'm Mahi. Hi, I'm Prerna. And today we're shooting a Valentine special, and hence we're in pink, <laughs> pink and red, red. Typically Valentine color clothes. Yeah. And we are making something for Valentine's Day, so yeah. you can make it. It's really easy. And um, what are we making today? There are these really adorable fortune cookies. But since it's Valentine's, they're red in color. And they're, <laughs> they're actually red color. Yeah. Yeah. And you know you can put like cute messages inside it. And it's so cute. You can give it to your loved one, and you can like break one open, and there'll be something really cute written yeah. on the. There is a note inside, so yeah. we thought it's a really cute idea. Also, I mean, going to a restaurant gets um, not expensive, but then it gets tiresome because it's always so crowded and it's so full, and you hardly have any quality time together. So you yeah. might as well make something at home, and this is for dessert. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really cute idea. Not even dessert, you know, you can just keep it like a table decor or whatever. Yeah. It's just really nice. So yeah. yeah. So uh, let's get started with this, and make sure you subscribe. We have new videos every Monday. So all the dry ingredients you need will be some flour. That is some plain flour to which we already added some salt, some rice flour, some corn flour or corn starch. The sugar, of course, this is caster sugar. You could also use powdered. Some cocoa powder, and the wet ingredients are water, oil, vanilla essence, and there are some egg whites. And then we just have some red food color to make them red velvet. Start with, we'll just be whisking the egg whites a little bit until they're frothy. So that much is good. And now we'll be moving on to the rest of the batter. So to start with, we'll be mixing all of the dry ingredients first in a large bowl. So that's the flour with the salt, the cocoa. The other two flours and also the sugar. And just give them a quick mix. So all the dry ingredients are mixed up and you just need to make a well in the middle and then add in all the liquid ingredients except the egg whites. And so the oil water to vanilla and we'll add in the food color now as well so this is a gel color but you can of course use liquid and let's just give all of this a good mix So once you put in the liquids, it'll look like this. It'll be very, very stiff. And now we'll be adding the egg whites, but a little at a time. So maybe around half of them first and mix that really well together. And then the remaining. So just work them through. Also, um, this looks very brown. I didn't add enough color and it's too stiff right now. But once the egg whites go in, it'll get liquidy again. And I'll just add more color when that happens. And now just the second half of the eggs. So it's all mixed in and the consistency is something like that. And I'll just be adding more color to make it look more red. So this is the color we ended up with. Um, it's not that visible on camera, but then it is quite a nice shade of red. So the oven is preheating at 175 degrees and we'll be making only around four of these at a time because to make these cookies, you need to shape them while they're still hot. And of course, if you have a lot of practice, you can do six at a time or even more. But we're just going to start with four and see how it goes. So what you want to do is take a little bit of the batter. Oh, and this is just a baking tray lined with a silicone sheet. You could also use baking paper. And just make little coin sized circles on the silicone mat. Just like so. And now what you want to do is spread these out so they're really thin. But make sure you don't cause any holes in them. Of course, you could have piped these circles out with a piping bag as well. And then just using a spoon, try to make sure they're as thin and as even as possible without causing any 
holes or cracks in the batter. So just like so and uh, you want to bake these for 8 to 10 minutes in your oven and we will be showing you the next part soon so yeah. So now for the messages for, for the inside of these cookies because of course you know that's the point. So there's just these little slips of paper that we've cut out and they're currently blank but of course you can write whatever message you want on these or even print out some messages you'll find so many of them online and of course since it's for valentine's day you want to put something cute or romantic for your loved one so these are fresh out of the oven and while they're still really hot what you want to do is using a spatula or anything else like that you want to just flip all of them over and then here are the little messages in this bowl and you just want to like place it in the middle fold it over and all of this is while it's still really hot then on the edge of the bowl you just want to try not to burn yourself fold it down to get that shape and then you want to place it in a muffin tin so that it doesn't lose shape when you're, while it's cooling So here yeah, they are just uh, cooling in the muffin pan and they turn super crisp when they cool because of the rice flour and so that they don't lose their shape you just want to place them in the pan otherwise they'll open out and they won't maintain this amazing shape that they have. So we are done with the fortune cookies and we are going to break one open and like taste it so like they're yeah. right here in this little jar on my table. You know you want to like split one with me. It's like, it's not a wishbone. <laughs> no, it's still. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, you guys, if you watch us regularly, you know we stay in Mumbai and it's really humid here. And so these, we sort of forgot to store them inside some container. And they were containers. just Yeah, and they were just lying on the counter. Please do not do that wherever you live because yeah. these, are, these have absorbed all the moisture in the air and they have become sticky and soft. Yeah, they have well. completely soft and sticky. And when when you made them, they were really crisp. Yeah, they, they were, were actually so like good. you know crackling. When yeah, we could just crack them, it open. Yeah. It was perfect, exactly how a fortune cookie should be. Yeah. So make sure you store them really well, okay? Yeah. And for the taste. And these are actually pretty tasty. I mean, um, it is a little chocolatey. So traditional fortune cookies don't have any chocolate. Yeah. But then it's a nice twist. I really like it. Yeah, you can actually definitely taste the cocoa powder. Hmm. Of course, the color is really nice. Yeah. And it tastes exactly like a fortune cookie you will get outside in a restaurant or you know. So, I think it was a big win and I always thought that fortune cookies are difficult to make. Yeah, I mean, we just had this misconception. We yeah. it for the first time. And, and I don't do well with heat either. Like, Pain was okay with it. But I can't touch hot things. I was very skeptical. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. We yeah, were able was, to do it. Yeah, just don't uh, transfer them from the pan to another sheet because then they'll cool down really quickly. So keep yeah. it on the uh, hot sheet. And if they do harden, you can always put it back in the oven for like a minute or two and it'll soften again and then you can shape them. Yeah, so make sure I don't make too many of them at a time. Yeah, we made four of them. At a time. Yeah, and of course, if you got a lot of practice, you can do six, up to six. But you know, just you have to shape them well. Yeah, and it's always better if you have someone to make it like a friend or someone. So you know, one <laughs> be the, quicker. Yeah, yeah. Like both of y'all can just bend it together. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if you like the video, do give it a big thumbs up. And uh, of course, subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media. The links are all given in the description box. Yeah. Bye. See you next time. And happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>